Hello friends, welcome to DP Tutorials. In this tutorial, let us see how to create dependent drop-down lists in Excel. You might be knowing the data validation feature in Excel using which one can create the drop-down list letting users to select a value from a predefined list. But the interesting question would be how can you make the values in one drop-down list depend on the values in another. Nothing but how can you make a drop down list dynamic. I will show you how in this example now. Here in column B I have the regions of India and column C provides state names in the chosen region. If the user selects north in the column B they will see a list of northern states here. If they select East, they will see the list of Eastern states similarly for the West and South regions. So let us see how we can create this dependent drop down list now. I am going to the fresh sheet now. First create the list you need. In this example create list of states by region in a worksheet like this. Now go to menu bar, go to formulas tab and click on name manager. Create named ranges for each list now. Click on new and name it as region. And in the refers to field select E32 H3. Similarly name the list north as E4 to E10 and east as F4 to F11 and create a name as West as G4 to G8 and South as H4 to H8. Once you are done with this, now let us create data validation rule to provide a drop down list for region select cells B4 to B7 go to data tab and select data validation select the validation criteria as list and in the source type equal to region. Now create a data validation rule for the dependent drop down list that is select cells C4 to C7 go to data tab and select data validation again. Now select the data validation criteria as list and in the source type equal to indirect open the bracket type B4 close the bracket. Now in this formula indirect simply evaluates values in column B as references which links them to the named ranges previously defined. That means if B4 is north this formula would fetch the north list from the named manager. Once we are done with this let us test the drop down list to check it is working fine. I delete this range B4 to B7. And in the cell B4, I select North from this drop down menu. And I go to the cell C4 and I will see this. The drop down list will be having the Northern states and I will select one state from this dependent list. Now go to cell B5, select East from the drop down. Go to cell C5 and you will see the states from the Eastern region in the drop down list. This is the dependent list. Similarly, you can try for other cells like this for West and for South. Got it friends? So it is awesome, right? So in this way, you can create the drop down list dependent upon the other drop down list. So friends, this is how one can create dependent drop down list in Excel. I hope you have enjoyed this tutorial. If yes, please do give me a like, share and comment. For further more interesting videos, please do subscribe DP Tutorials. Thank you friends. Thanks for watching.